How's it going guys? Kyle here with Newegg TV, here to give you all another overview today on this motherboard from Gigabyte. This is the Z77XUD3H. So this board does feature the Z77 chipset from Intel, and uh, along with that, Gigabyte has thrown in their 3D power utility, which allows you to make real-time adjustments to things on your PC, such as voltage and frequency, along with Gigabyte's famous 3D BIOS to give you a more dynamic look at all of your uh, BIOS settings. And uh, that being said, this board does support the LGA 1155 socket, so it supports second and third generation Intel Core processors. It does support PCI Express 3.0. Don't worry if you have a, a generation 2.0 card, this is backwards compatible, so you'll have full support for that. It uh, comes featured with Virtue MVP, which basically switches in between your integrated and discrete graphics to optimize GPU performance. You've got an onboard MSATA connector if uh, SSD caching is your thing. And this board does support full SLI and Crossfire X configurations. Um, you can't see the Crossfire X on the front. Not sure why they didn't put it there. But if you look on the back in the, the bottom right corner, there you have your Crossfire X support. Let's take a look inside. So included with this motherboard, you get an I.O. panel. It's painted black and labeled for your convenience. You also get a black ribbon style SLI bridge for uh, any SLI connections or configurations you so desire. You get four SATA cables. Uh, these are SATA 6G cables. You get two blue ones and two black. Um, you get uh, some of the L brackets. You get two L bracket ones and two straight brackets, one of each color. And all the clips, however, do have those metal clips there uh, to secure a solid connection to your SATA ports. Moving on, you've got your software installation and utility drivers disk. Uh, it's always best to head over to the Gigabyte website to make sure that you have the latest drivers to ensure full compatibility and functionality between your motherboard and all of your other components. Um, so you also get a Gigabyte badge sticker there for your case or wherever you want to put it. You have a user's manual. Be sure to read this. A lot of useful information in there. And if English isn't your language, uh, there's always a multilingual installation book. And that's it for the accessories. Let's take a look at the board itself. So taking a look at the motherboard here, you can see that Gigabyte has chosen to go with a metallic blue and black color scheme. The PCB itself is of a metallic, uh, I shouldn't say metallic, a matte black finish, so it's very easy on the eyes. This board does have four fan connectors, and they're all four pins, so they all do support PWM functionality. I'm going to point them out really quick. Here's your CPU fan connector there, system fan header there, and two more down below. That being said, let's take a look at some of the other components that this motherboard features. You've got a debug LED there, and uh, that's basically going to light up and spit out a code if something happens to go wrong with your motherboard. You can take that code and look it up in your user's manual, and it'll tell you what exactly is causing the problem. Very, uh, very handy if you're troubleshooting and need to pinpoint an area of interest. Here you've got some front panel connectors, power reset, hard drive, and all that good stuff. Uh, barely at the top of that, it's very tiny to see, but there are two little pins there. Uh, that's your clear CMOS jumper. You can actually take a screwdriver, for instance, and short those two pins, and it'll clear your CMOS. So you can, uh, you can clear your CMOS that way. Here's a BIOS switch. This board does feature two separate BIOSes. Um, if you do want to have separate profiles, you can actually, you know, for example, overclock one and leave the other one default stock, and you can switch between those two very easily with that switch. You've got three USB 2.0 headers, a TPM header, you've got an SPDIF out, and uh, HD audio, and let's move on to the PCI connectivity here. You've got three PCI Express 3.0 slots, and the speeds are 4x, 8x, and 16x. If you choose to go with an SLI uh, or Crossfire X configuration and you're occupying this slot here, bear in mind that the speed for this slot will actually drop to, eight, to 8x as well. So uh, just keep that in mind. You have three uh, PCI Express 1x slots here and a legacy PCI slot right here. Moving on, you've got a Z77 chipset with a blue heat sink over it with a Gigabyte logo. And speaking of the chipset, it is currently controlling these six SATA ports. So the four on the left are SATA Revision 2.0, giving you speeds of three gigabits per second. And the two white ones on the right are SATA Revision 3.0, giving you speeds of 6 gigabits per second. This right here is a SATA power connector. If you need some extra juice to power this motherboard, for instance, if you're using a, an SLI or a Crossfire X configuration, you can actually just take a, an eSATA, I'm sorry, a SATA cable and connect it from your power supply to this port to give you that extra needed power. Moving on, you've got your USB 3.0 header right there, 24-pin supplemental uh, ATX power connector there, surface-mounted power and reset up top, with an actual physical clear CMOS button, 
and you've got four dim slots here. That's uh, supported speeds of up to 1600 mega transfers per second, and it does support maximum capacity of 32 gigs of GDDR3 memory. Moving on, you've got your onboard MSATA connector that I mentioned earlier, and that's uh, very handy if you want to do some SSD caching or even boot off of that as, uh, MSATA drive. Uh, bear in mind, though, that if you do utilize this slot, you will lose one of your SATA revision 2.0 ports over here because they do share bandwidth. Moving on, you've got your LGA 1155 socket, once again supporting second and third generation Intel Core processors. VRM and power delivery up here, you've got your chokes and capacitors, MOSFETs underneath that blue heat sink, uh, keeping thermals to a minimum. And up top here, you've got your 12 volt EPS supplemental CPU power connector. Moving on to the back, the rear IOs, you've got a PS2 connector for your keyboard or mouse, two USB 3.0 ports, a D-sub out, a DVI digital out, which gives you maximum supported resolutions of 1920 by 1200, an optical toss link out, an HDMI port, which also gives you the exact same resolutions uh, as this DVI port here, a display port out, which gives you max supported resolutions of 2560 by 1600. You've got four more USB 3.0 uh, connectors there, two eSATA ports, each, uh, each of them are SATA revision 3.0, giving you speeds of six gigabits per second, and those are both controlled by an add-on Marvell 88SE 9172 chip. You've got an Intel NIC right here, and lastly, you've got six standard analog outs. And that's gonna wrap it up for this overview. Once again, this has been the Z77X UD3H motherboard from Gigabyte. I'm Kyle with Newegg TV, and if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our Newegg YouTube channel for more tech videos. Thanks for watching Newegg TV, and we'll see you guys later.